All right, get the car started. I'm putting it into gear and you can see I can just roll out of the clutch. And we get right through it. So the biggest jarring thing to people is like, hey, I just they can't get over the sounds and you know, the sounds are not amazing by any means and they know that they're not stupid. They know that. Uh, however, I've just learned to just I, you, you get used to them after a while. You really do. You start to get really used to them and it's not a big deal. All right, let's get a good lap here. I'm kind of overdriving, but we're on cold tires. Get up to speed here. You got to watch when you get in the trioval because that little safer barrier will reach out and bite you in the butt. So I'm out of the throttle a little bit, back into it, roll into it easy, try to get the car to plant, and it's not doing it there very well. Come off the uh, turn two up against the wall. Car got a little loose in my wheel. And out of the gas and back into the gas for turns three and four. Try to get that sucker down to the bottom. There we go. And drive it off just like that. And we should be in the kind of the mid pack. Oh, look at that. We were 40th. So bringing them up to 102 is going to make it a little more challenging. I like that though. Is there a career mode like F1 2016 Canicus? Yes, there is. I wouldn't say it's as in depth as the, the F1 2016, but it's definitely in depth. Like you can build up your garage, your team, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the, uh, the productions and yeah, I'll show you all that stuff later. All right, so let's just start the race and get into this so I can show you what the AI is all about. Whoa. All right, was leaning on my wheel a little bit too much there. That's all right. It's right behind Ellis and we've got uh, 23 laps here, so we need to be smart about our racing. And remember, they're at a uh, difficulty of 102, so they're gonna be a little more difficult. Still there. We're racing these guys in the back and we've got a good car. In career mode, you don't have a great car. You're gonna be like these smaller teams in the Still back. There. You'll get used to Bobby Labonte shouting at you in your ears. Still there. But they will have spotter packs. And I'll tell you what, for a dollar and you get like Rick Allen. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing. And I hope they, that more spotters get involved. I really do. I think it'd be awesome. Oh, we just got booted by De Benedetto got into us. He shot us right into the wall. Jackass. Well, we'll remember that in this race, won't we? Get down into it. It does drive brilliant with the uh, the wheel. I do love driving it with the wheel. I remember one where I was in uh, live streams in Charlotte and everything, and I was playing with a controller. I felt so bad because I was like, I just I'm so bad at a controller in these kind of typing of uh, this type of racing game, and I was like, it's just a shame that you know I didn't I wasn't able to use a wheel, but they didn't have it you know all 100% done the wheel. Uh, settings and all that stuff. In fact, I was working with them and uh, trying to get my force feed back to work and send them logs and stuff and helping them out Still there. with that. To go. So here we go. We need to start getting a little more aggressive on these guys. Tyler Reddick in front of us in the 29. There. I'm going to go push it three wide here. We need to start making a, a charge to the front. If De Benedetto slams the door on us, and he's not going to. We're going to slide up next to Bobby Labonte here in front of us in the Can-Am car. We're going to go to the outside of him. Whoa, watch out for there. Austin Dillon getting into J Eric Jones. Driving like a jackass. It looks like Austin Dillon on. just got really, he, I think he got loose in turn three and slid up the track and he hit Eric Jones and ended up getting into the wall that way. So the AI makes mistakes. They do make mistakes. And one of the biggest things I see people doing in uh, all of their live streams and or their videos and first impressions hey, and stuff bro. is they have it on auto Car high. whoa hang on to it hang on to it hang on to it we should have a yellow we should have a yellow if i stop yep and uh yeah we'll go ahead and pit and make sure we get the uh the repair done and all that so whenever you're under yellow uh you don't have a pit animation you get a pit animation whenever you're under green the reason for this is to get you back in the game. They, they don't want to take you away from the game. That was their whole idea behind it. They're like, we just want to get you back out there. You know, I, I'm sure there's people that would probably like that. And maybe you could turn that on in a future update or something if they work on that. 
if enough people want it. But what's amazing is that DMR really are in love, not only with this game, but they're also absolutely in love with uh, the fact that they get to make a NASCAR game again, and they really want to make it great. But, but it's very imperative to work on the game mechanics before you start working on uh, all the flashy stuff, you know, on polishing the sounds and, and the graphics. The graphics to me are not that bad at all. Uh, the only thing you'll notice is that there is no motion blur. And NASCAR 14 and 15 had motion blur. And it kind of hid that anti-aliasing uh, jaggy look. So they don't have a motion blur on the edges if you notice. So that's the one thing that I am noticing big time here. Boy, they're whooping our ass at, uh, at a speed rating of 102. Oh, I'm going to the outside of Amarola. Let's see what happens here. Out of the gas, back into it a little bit here. And take this high line and get in the wall again. Man, I cannot make it work up on top. We're going to have to try a new approach here. All right, come on, Chase. Still there. Get to the bottom of him. Ooh, hello. But yeah, back to what I was saying, everybody's been kind of bitching about the AI, rubber banding and whatnot. And uh, to Still be perfectly there. honest, they have it on auto. And when you first get into the game and your speed rating's low on tracks, uh, the AI is going to rubber band because what it's doing is it's adaptive. It, it races according to how fast you're driving and what your skill set is. Uh, you can turn that off completely like I have, you know, and we, we turned them up to 102 and you can see how difficult it is just to pass cars when you're in the back of the pack. It, it is pretty challenging. Whoa, we're getting the back of McDowell there a little bit. I'm going to have to make something work on this high line. I just have to make it work. Clear high. Come on, we can clear him. Yep. Look at that move. Look at that move on the inside of an, a net. Gonna. Ooh, I almost had an option to, you know, get into him there, but I decided not to at the last second. Some really good racing with the AI back here, and that's what this game's all about. You know, it's it's one thing to have flashy things, but. When your AI is a piece of garbage, that's a different story. And with the Eutechnics titles, the AI just wasn't there. They drove on rails. And you can see these guys are racing each other. They're getting in there, like trying to, if, if they can't get around the guy in front of them, they'll try a different line. They're like, I'm not going to just stay behind this guy because I'm programmed to do that. They're like, I'm going to race this dude in front of me for this position. And that's exactly what you're seeing them do. So are they, are they aggressive with you? Certain drivers are. It, it really depends. Uh, and I've noticed if, if I continue to roughen up one, I don't believe they have a rival system. Uh, that's something that they did away with a long time ago. But it seems like the AI definitely remembers if you're racing somebody pretty hard. They seem to give you less room, I've noticed. Like, they'll start crowding you, especially like Austin Dillon we've had some issues with here already early on. Get outside of Chris Busher, and we're working up towards... Ryan Scott, out of the gas a little bit, let the car roll, back into the gas, get down to that line. If you don't hit that groove just right, there we go, get a run on Brian Scott. That's what we were looking for. We need to get out of that back pack there. Inside of Menard, we're gonna out break him going in. There we go, just easily on the brakes there. I don't wanna go too hard into the brakes. But the tire fall off is starting to happen. The car's starting to push because I've been driving the living crap out of it, you know? That was a great lap. Thank you, Bobby Labonte. Appreciate her. David Reagan there. In the BK Racing, Dr. Pepper 23. Right behind Casey Mears. Oh, hello. Still there. Still there. Carlo. The spotter gives you basic information, but you know what? It's kind of better than hearing constant barrages of, uh, what was it? You're doing it today. You're do we got to go to work, man. We got to go to work, like over and over and over. I'd rather have them like just say, you know, hey, car low, car high, instead of hearing like, oh man, that's that's not cool, man. Or, or it's like the same like three things throughout a race. So I'm I am happy that they do sh they do shut up and let you just drive. Because I remember in the 14 and 15 series, I was like, come on, man, I. I just want to drive. I don't want to hear you're doing it today. I don't want to hear we got to go to work when we know we have to go to work. And uh, car setups are another big thing. A lot of people playing on uh, the plate tracks. 
we're like, uh, you know what? The, uh, the fourth gear is showing about 5,000 RPM. And that was because the gear ratio is, was set to a high or to a, uh, to a, uh, lower number. So you can just raise that ratio up and you can get a, a much more realistic RPM range if you would like. By default, it doesn't have that. Uh, and when I was in Charlotte, I, I did say that to them. I was like, hey, uh, the when I'm at full speed, I noticed that it's like at 5,000 RPM when it should be closer to 8,000, 8,500. And when you're getting pushed or you're in the draft and, and pushing somebody else, you know, you're, you're up there at 9,000 RPM. And, and uh, you know, and they know that the setups need work, but you have the tools there to make setups yourself. And uh, keep an eye on guys like uh, Delta Force Agency out there. They'll be doing uh, some setup work. And uh, they emailed me, and I really wish I could have gotten back to them in time, but I had signed the NDA, and I wasn't going to give any information out on all that stuff. But... Uh, I, I do need to get back to those guys to so let them know. Man, good racing here with uh, Bobby Labonte because we're working on the Biff next. Just got to play with this throttle right here because we have that tire fall off. There we go. Let the car sit and drive it off. And after uh, after the race, guys, I'll be able to uh, look at the chat. I'm sorry. I'm just uh, doing this right now. And I need to turn on the chat, actually, on the uh, stream. I didn't do that because I'm a dummy. So you can see here with the 102 setting of AI, we are fighting, fighting for a top 20. And that's how it should be. It shouldn't be so easy. But oh, look at that Ricky Stenhouse there on the bottom. Greg Biffle almost on the apron trying to find a way around uh, Tony Stewart here. Oh, again on the apron. Man, he is really getting risky because he really wants to get by him. Oh, we're pushing up into Stenhouse. But you notice Stenhouse moves up the track. He knows All you're clear. there. And the uh, Technics titles, That's they just go, you, you're not there. And they just come down on you and cause a wreck or something. All clear. It's a lot different here. Oh, Tony's good race with Tony Stewart here is on the inside of us trying to get a run. I'm going to use the draft off of Trevor, Br Trevor Bain here. And we're going to try to pass him on the outside lane. Out of the gas a little bit, back into it. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. We might be able to get Trevor here. To the outside of Trevor. Up against the wall. Oh, and we touch. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. <laughs> and you can see right there. Last lap. AI's like, hey, you know what? We're going for this position. And they race you really hard. And I love that about the game. Absolutely love it. The graphics don't look very good at all. You know, I, I really disagree with you there. Um, you know, other than not having the... Uh, motion blur to hide the anti-aliasing like uh, 14 and 15 did. Uh, you know, for the Unity engine, I think it looks great. Especially, at, I really like the colors at night and stuff. Uh, but to me, I guess uh, I'm used to iRacing and stuff to where the graphics are not mind-blowing. Uh, you know, this is a smaller company. They're not using an engine like uh, the Mad Engine or whatever it is with uh, Project Cars. They're not using ones that Forza has. I mean, these are... These are huge companies using those those graphics engines. But eventually these guys can get there, you know what I mean? And that's what's really cool about it. Hey, Dwayne. Mr. Evans is here. How about that speed rating? So let's, uh, actually, let's go back to the results. Yeah. I will show you what, what the replay system looks like here in a little while, but uh, let's go ahead and leave the track here. I do love the soundtrack. Oh, we have a challenge and these challenges pop up and go, hey, I want you to uh, do what I did in this race. So Darlington is the home to the NASCAR throwback weekend. Let's see if you can capture the checkered flag throwback style by getting to the front any way you can. You only have five laps, so you may have to trade some paint. Well, I love Darlington Raceway, so let's do it. Hey, Kerblam King. Awesome, man. Glad you got to pick you picked up this game and get to try it out. All right, here we go. One of my favorite tracks of all time, Darlington. You have to be patient at Darlington. You have to wait to get into those corners. You can't go below below the white line here. If you go below this white line, it's so loose down there. You got in the back of Brian Scott there a little bit. Have to be patient. Wait for this field to open up a little bit more. We're gonna go to the inside just because. 
This is a challenge. We got to try to win this race as Carl Edwards into the brakes. Drive the car. Whoa. Everybody's up against the wall here. I really want an opening so I can get up next to that wall. Ooh. Oh, shit. Hang on to it. Got into the wall. We got a wreck behind us. It might be a yellow, actually. Actually, you know what? In challenges, I don't think you get... I don't think you get yellows in challenges. There we go. Inside of Trevor Bain. Ooh. AJ Allmendinger's going to... Pinch us a little bit. All right, now we can run the line. So we can get up here, and here's our braking zone because this is the tight one right here. Kind of let the car roll up against the wall here. Back into the gas. Drive it off the wall. Get around McMurray here. Get a huge run into here. It's all about your braking zone into turn one. Here's our braking zone down to the bottom. And back it hard into the gas, up against the wall, but we have to get around Kerr Bush and his brother Kyle. So oh, you can see right there. there. Hang on to it. Oh, that wasn't good. See what happens when you go below the, the white line here? There's no grip down there at all. Still there. Yeah, we're going to restart this. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Let's try it again. It's going green. Be a little more aggressive here. I need that outside lane. The bottom just kills you. And if you get below that white line, you're toast. Toast like the most. All right. But look how good the AI races each other at such a tight race track like uh, Darlington here. We're on the inside of Brian Scott, gonna try to make it work. I'm trying to win this race and get a little aggressive here. He's gotta watch out Stay below up. the white Stay line. All clear. The problem with the challenges is they really, really are like, hey, you need to win this race. Do everything you can, like uh, you know, Carl Edwards did uh -huh. in the real world. So here we go. In the brakes, easy. Up against the wall, Stay back up. into the gas full. Drive it up next to the Darlington Raceway. And then ease out of it, back around. There we go. A little bit better now. I had to force my way up here. That is for sure. And at Darlington, this end of the track is a lot tighter. So you have to really slow down here, get a run on McMurray. Get down next to the white line, but don't get those wheels below it. You see right there, I'm on simulation mode, so you feel it in the wheel immediately when you're messing up. Look everybody up and next to the wall here, like where we're going. Have to make a move on Johnson here. It's going to be on the back stretch. Here we go. I don't know if we have enough run. Hang We're gonna up. go three Still wide. There. Hang on to it. Oh, slide back up in there. Back into the gas. There we go. Still right there. behind Logano, making making grounds now. Lap 365, 367. We gotta get up here. Jimmy Johnson there trying to make it inside. Move uh -huh. there. Almost three wide into turn one. It's coming. Okay, they figured it out. They went too wide there at the end. Staying behind Denny Hamlin. All over the back of Denny Hamlin Still to the there. inside. Nope. Every time I clinch, I'm like hanging on to the wheel there. <laughs> if you get out of that groove, man, I'm going to try to bump, bump and run Denny here for third. I'm all over his back bumper here. There we go to the inside. It's going to be tough. Try to get a little bit of a door draft on him. A little side draft action. There we go. Back into the gas fully up next to the wall. Get all the speed we can and then roll out of it. There's our Darlington stripe right there. That's what I'm talking about. And now we're trying to chase the leader down. I don't think it's going to happen. We're not going to win this challenge because we got held up in traffic too much. Just overdrove it there a little bit. One more lap, we would have had him. One more lap, we would have had him. A valiant effort, but we, we didn't get the, uh, the win. We didn't win the challenge. That's how difficult some of these challenges are. I've done quite a few of them. I think it's like the fifth one. Challenge rating of 105. That gives us some more speed points there. No, we're not. We're not going to retry try the challenge. I'll do that another time. But you can see the ones that I've already completed are up here. Like I did Brad's, uh, Jimmy Johnson, Matt De Benedetto, Carl Edwards. We have not completed. So four out of six completed so far. How about it? So some questions for you guys. What tracks have you gone to? Like in real life? Uh, I've only been to Gateway Motorsports Park. And uh, this weekend, I will be in Chicagoland Speedway and get to see all of the races. It, it, I'm so excited. I've never been to a Sprint Cup race before. I'm a huge NASCAR Sprint Cup fan. So I think it'll be pretty cool. 
yeah the night the night race uh the night colors and, and graphics i think it looks great and people that are like oh the graphics and this and this you know to each their own i guess but i i don't see what they see i think people are being way too harsh on the graphics engine I mean, you just saw the AI, what we were just racing with. You can't get that kind of racing in, in previous titles. You just can't get it. Hey, K Parnell. What's up? Out delivery today for Xbox One. How about it? Very cool stuff, man. Dusty, I I've seen people uh, giving it terrible reviews, and I think a lot of people jumped into this game, and they didn't know that much about it, and they, they had rubber banding AI, and they, had they just went in there blindly, and they're just like, this isn't what I want. The graphics aren't Forza or whatever. And then they just refunded the game or, or wrote it a shitty, uh, you know, response or, or review. But if you notice, if you read the reviews of people that actually know what they're talking about, they're at the bottom and be like, you know what? At first I was like, I don't know. And then after I played it for a few hours, I'm like, I really enjoy this game because it's a lot of fun. It's a, the game mechanics supersede the sounds and the graphics by far. In my opinion. Doom, doom, doom. And I love the soundtrack. It's just awesome. All right, cool. So we did that. Uh, championship. Let's, let's, well, we're going to continue through. The, we're going to go through all the tracks. How about that? And I, I won't just be Kurt Busch. I love Kurt Busch. But if you guys want to see somebody else, you know, just let me know. Uh, you want to see some. You know what? I want to show you guys what plate racing is like. Because plate racing is very terrifying in the real world. So let's do it at Talladega. 102 speed rate, or, you know, setting for the AI. This is going to be pretty good because the drafting at Talladega is great. Whereas Daytona, it's nah, it's okay. And and they said, hey, you know what? We know that the drafting is not where we want it to be, but they're working on pack racing, and I think they're going to do a good job with it. All right, I'm not going to worry about qualifying. Oh, well, yeah, I probably need to qualify here, to be honest. Go, 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 to try go, go. to get something a little bit better than what we've already got. So qualifying here at Talladega is all about getting that speed up in the car. And to do that, we're going to ride the outside of the track on our outlap to just, you know, wind up that speed in the car. The longer you're on the track, the longer you have to get speed in the car. And you'll see what I'm what I'm talking about here in a minute. When I go into fourth gear, we're going to be at like 5,500 RPM, which is way incorrect. But that's a setup thing. It's just the gear ratio, and you can change that completely. You see how long it takes to get up to speed here. We're going to go into fourth right there. Okay, so not 5,500, about 6,000 RPM there. Not a big deal, but you, see, you can see we're getting realistic speeds. It's just taking us longer to get there because the gear ratio is set that way. So we're, we're going to make an adjustment to that in the setups here in a minute. And we get ready to take the first lap here. We're qualifying. Here we go. Lap one and two. Oh, I messed up already. I was thinking to be on the outside. We need to be on the bottom here. Be nice and smooth up against this yellow line. Just kind of hold it there. Sim racing experience with a wheel really comes into play uh, in plate racing in this game. That's for sure. It does help. Get to the bottom here again. Nice and smooth. Try to get as much speed out of the car as we possibly can. So you see 6,200 RPM here in fourth gear. Not very realistic at a, at a play track. You'd be running about 8,000 RPM. And uh, if you're in the draft, you know, it'd be closer to 9,000. So that's just a setup thing. Uh, you know, setups are, it's its hard to, to, to nail setups to the wall, but they plan on working on that stuff in the future, in the patches. They just got to get the game out to you guys. They, they were really, really adamant um, when I was talking with them and, and, and I was at their offices. They just wanted to get this game in people's hands to be like, you know what? This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to make a great NASCAR game. You know, the first release isn't going to be the best thing in the world. They know this going into it, but it's better to get it in your hands and go, okay, I see what their vision is and what they want to do with this title rather than being like, all right, we're going to delay it for another two years so we can get it up to, you know, the internet's ridiculous standards of what a racing game should be to them. 
I mean, I understand, you know, people's complaints. They're, you know, they're the customer. They, they paid their hard-earned money on it. We still qualified 40, so that was complete waste of time. But maybe we'll be able to do something with the draft here. I think 102 is going to be really tough here. So let's go to the custom qualify menu. You can see here in the gear settings, we have fourth gear set at 085. If we bring that up, we get more RPM out of it. So I'm going to go to about 1.00. I'm going to hit back. I'm going to hit Y to save that setup. And then we're going to be good to start the race. So now you'll see when we get into fourth gear, watch where the RPM is. Get a good restart here. That wasn't very good, but I want to get behind Ellis and get the draft going. So here's third. You see that drop down about 5,500 RPM. But watch when we go into fourth gear, we're going to be much higher RPM than we were there a little bit ago. See right there. We're in fourth gear, but we have a higher RPM now. There we go. Let's go to the outside of Tyler Reddick. Get that draft from Matt Kenseth here if we possibly can. Going to get down on the door of the 29 because we want to try to side draft him, but that's not going to work. We're going to get in line here. Nope. Looks like it might work. The second line is starting to form a little bit here. The top line's not going to go anywhere. They don't have that many cars. He's going to ease into the break here and there or out of the throttle to, you know, stay in the draft. Oh, hello. Got a little loose there. But you can see pack racing is so much better. You can actually bump draft these guys and bump them. Uh, in the 14 and 15 titles, you know, when you got on the back bumper of somebody and you started leaning on them, they just got really squirrely and just like wrecked. But here you can really lean on people and really push your line. Like here, like I'm pushing on Matt Kenseth pretty good right here at 187 miles an hour, almost 188, 89. Pretty good there. But see, if we made that fourth gear a little taller, uh, we would have had a sh we, or shorter gear. We would have had uh, a higher Hold RPM range. Holding my line right now. And the side draft is there. It's not very apparent. It's not extremely effective, but it is there. Uh, and, and they do know Hold that. The They're like, we, well, that's something we really want to work on because they really think that nailing pack racing is going to be line. what it's all about. All right, there we go. Matt Kenseth opened up a line for us. Oh, got into the side of him. Hang on to it. We're good. I got into the side of uh, Tyler Reddick there, and we got sideways. I'm going to stay in this lane. I'm not going to jump to the bottom. Kyle Larson's getting shuffled back right now. I'm going to get back up on the back bumper of the 20. And look at that. We get, you know, the draft works. We get sucked right back up to the 20. We can push on him a little bit more. Pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. You can get a big crash at any time in 13 laps. It's, it's kind of like real pack right there. We go. Moving the 20 up the track a little bit there and I'm going to try to get on the back of uh, Chris Busher's bumper here nice and easy he's going to go to the outside lane it's not going to be good I'm going to go to the middle going to make that work I think the second lane is moving up we're making a charge having to really back out of the throttle there to get on to Benedetto's uh, bumper no I don't want to get shuffled out of the second lane they're trying to do that right now no we're still good but I'll show you what we can do with De Benedetto to get around De Benedetto and piggyback off of Casey Kane. We can try to side draft him. So watch. We get right up next to his door here, and then we drive away to the side, and we should get a run off of him. We do a little bit there, up next to him again, drive away from him, and pull him on back with the side draft. It's not working very well in the outside lane because we have no help. Try to get back in line before Chris Busher closes the door on us. You can see here with the, with the AI setting of 102, they're quite challenging in a plate race setting. Oh, I just overdrove it. Overdrove it. It was my, totally my fault. Hang on to it. Man. Oof. It's about as nerve-wracking as uh, plate racing and eye racing, except for those are live people. Oh, uh, I just screwed all that up. Back to square one. That's not good. You hit the wall and you, you know you're you pay for it. That's that's how it works. I overdrove it into that corner and we got loose. But I think we might be getting the tail end of Michael Annette's draft just barely. And I think they're going to get a little slower in the trial, but we might make up some ground on him here and be able to catch up with him. We're not gaining on them like ridiculously quick like you've seen people that have 
the adaptive AI turned on because if I had adaptive AI turned on, they'd be slowing down for me. They'd be like, hey, you know, I want you to have fun and actually be able to race. So we're gonna slow down for you. We have it to where they're very unforgiving. But look at the movements they're making. They shuffle around. They're trying to make new lines work up towards the front. And uh, I think they did a really good job on the plate racing here at Talladega. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this person either. Absolutely, Zach, you're absolutely right, man. Uh, one thing is for certain, people that want to compare this to iRacing, let me tell you, if you want to, if you want to drive a Gen 6 stock car on all the tracks in iRacing, you're looking at $400 plus to do that. Not to mention what you need for a steering wheel and all that kind of stuff. We're going to restart this race because that was terrible. And we're never going to catch a draft again. The race is going green. There's a green flag. Let's get a little more aggressive on these restarts here or on this uh, start. And we're gonna try to make a charge to the front. Enough pussyfooting around here. Get on the inside of Ellis, if we can. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna switch into my fourth gear here. And now we're the bottom lane got checked up pretty good there, but I'm gonna go with the bottom here. I, the, the top didn't work very well for us last time. Get to the inside of McDowell. And I'm gonna try to ride with, uh, oh, he's gonna push us. You gonna push me out of the, Son of a bitch. He tried to push me out of that lane. He was like, nope, I'm not giving you this spot. Let's try. Well, we're going to have to go with the outside lane then, it looks like. But again, you know, we have these guys set at 102. It's pretty difficult. If I turn him down a little bit, you know, we'd be able to, to make a little bit more ground a little quicker. But I think this is pretty challenging in its sense of actually having to bump draft with people. And the movements of the cars kind of remind me of iRacing and pack, you know, pack racing is, uh, you know, is how much you move around. I'm going to do what I did last time. Oh, screw, screw Ellis, get a little bit of side draft off of uh, McDowell and go for Chris Busher here. Good God, I keep moving the wheel too much. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're done with that. We are done with that. We, we are toast. Oh, man. I think they're a little too hard there. What do you say? I say we bring them back down to 100. But let's let's continue on to different tracks. So we did Atlanta. Let's do uh, not Auto Club. We'll do Bristol. Bristol's tough. Oh, you know what? They're still at 102. Well, let's try it. See what it's like. All right. Very cool stuff, man. All right, Billy, it's NASCAR Challenge, Days of Thunder on the NES. That's awesome, decal. Very cool stuff, man. Uh, K. Parnell, will AI cause wrecks at times? Yes, they will. They, they do wreck on their own. Uh, and if they get bad enough damage, you know, they can get a DNF or they'll be sitting in the pits be, with a realistic time of how long it would take to, you know, fix the damage on those cars. Pretty cool. <laughs> Radioactive in NASCAR heat evolution. <laughs> Man, yeah, it was big junk, big junk there. Uh, road course, go to New Hampshire, Watkins Lane. Okay, we'll, we'll get there. We will get there. 103. Oh, yeah, right. Tree crawler. We would never be able to make it up through that. All right, let's uh, try to qualify here at Bristol. Go, 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 go. And Bristol's all about using this uh, outside lane to your advantage and diamonding the corner. And using your brake. You do have to brake here. Back into the gas here and then out of the gas a little bit. No, nope. cold tires are going to get you every time. All right, here we go. First lap into the brakes a little bit here. Oh, I'm going to hit the wall, of course. I'm doing terrible. All right, let's try this again. Got to brake harder. I wasn't braking enough. There we go. You have to slow down a lot in these corners. More than you would ever think you do. Terrible 40th because I hit the freaking wall. What do you expect? The one. All right, let's just get into the race here at Bristol. And these guys are a lot of fun to race at Bristol. The AI is. There's a Good on my restart there. Here comes the brakes. The car is a little loose on the braking. I'm 
Trying to make this outside lane work a little bit here. Got to be really patient at Bristol. Got into the wall again there. You don't have a lot of room at Bristol, so you have to be really, really patient with that throttle. Especially coming off the corner. I'm not pushing it three wide there. No way. Oh, got into a net. He's going to be able to hang on to it. Hang on to it, buddy. Still he was. He, he, held, he held on to it. Oh, somebody's wrecking in front of us. Nope. It just got loose. That's another thing I'd like to see them tone down is the smoke. Uh, at least, you know, hang for on. certain Still small there. contacts and whatnot. Because it really is blinding smoke. And if, if you just touch fenders or somebody starts to get loose a little bit, hang you on. get that blinding smoke. Still and there. Look at this right here in front of us. Tyler Raddick's not going to be able to hang on to it. He got a little bit of us, but we now. saved it. And the yellow comes out. How about that? We're not going to pit. Oh, zoom. Not going to pit here. And we're going to advance to the green flag start, or we could wait till the time remaining ends. So the whole thing about getting you back into the race is what it's all about here. All right, here we go. Getting ready to restart here. You can see uh, Alex Bowman getting some heat in his tires, cleaning them up. Here we go. Oh, good restart for us. I was all over those gears. And into the wall, of course. Still there. <laughs> Story of my life at Bristol. Even in iRacing, that wall comes at you quick. It's Still so there. tight. Of the track. We got in the back end of McDowell there. Like, hey, man, we Still need to there. get going. We need to go. Give him a couple more bumps. Start getting Almost. impatient in Bristol very quickly. Menard's trying to wreck us. He almost did. Still there. Oh, I will, I'll remember that, Menard. I will remember that. I mean, he Still totally there. tried to turn us there. Do the brakes here. Let the car roll in the center a little bit. He's on the power off. There we go. And I am fighting this Still car there. off those corners. And with the simulation Almost. mode... You do. You do. You have to wheel these cars off the corner. Wow. Three wide, really? Truex? Just because you're pissed off, you're in the back of the pack and try to wreck us out today? Hang on, do it. Now I have to give it a lot more wheel. I think he knocked the toe out a little bit there. It feels Still like there. it anyway in the wheel. Well, maybe we could make this bottom, the bottom lane work a little bit here. You have to give it a lot more wheel now. All right, Truex. Yeah, I didn't forget. Never forgetty. See you in spaghetti. Where you going? Where are you going? Gets a little bit. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to show him I'm not happy with him there. Ooh. That was a great lap. Try to avoid him there and we hit the wall. Is it a great lap? I don't think it is. Actually, you know what? I, I think that we're just starting to get tire fall off now. I don't think I, I don't think it's a toe issue. Toe would be a little more, more severe than what I'm feeling. I'm going to get into him again there. Try to get him loose. And, you, and it works. The bump and run works in this game. You can get on the back of somebody and give them a nice little tap. They get loose coming off the corner a little bit there. Depends on where you hit them. Still there. Like that. He's hanging on to it. But see what I'm talking about with the smoke? It's a little much. There we go. That's a bump and run on him. <laughs> he's not going to be happy with us. Now he's probably not going to give us an inch. All clear. All clear. Now he raced Tyler Reddick. I'm trying to be smart here. Ra oh, here comes Truex right there. See? If you race them dirty, they seem to come back and fight you a little bit. Oh, shit. Just got into Reddick, and Reddick's going around. <laughs> he saved it, but Martin Truex Jr. got screwed on that. It's all about braking here at Bristol, man. You've got to be so good with that brake. And watch just how much gas you're giving it coming okay, off the corner. We don't plow the car. Clear high. Clear high. All righty. Watch the 13 here. I'm going to be on the outside of him. Stay high. Still there. Stay high. Still there. Whoa. He checked up big time. Come on, Bob. Well, Bonnie, you can save it. You can save it, buddy. You can save it. Woo. We push it three wide. Oh, and it didn't clear him. That was the that was a uh, dive bomb right there. Where you dive bomb him and then you shoot up the track. <laughs> you run out of talent talent really quick when you dive bomb people. Stay high. 
But some great door-to-door -door racing with the AI. I just love racing this AI. It is so much fun. They're challenging. They they don't they don't back down. They race you like you know they should race you. The best way to explain it is, uh, you know, with the, the NASCAR titles of 14 and 15, the AI was like on rails. They didn't seem like they had that there was actual people driving them. And this, they drive different lines and they block you and they do all this stuff. It's like, it really feels like you're racing against somebody that has intelligence in that car. It's like, hey, I know what I'm doing. You just need to be better at what you're doing. Is that tire fall off? Man, I'm really driving that car. The brake bias probably needs to be shifted uh, to the front a little bit. Danica Patrick there got loose coming off of uh, that turn. I don't know if you saw that. She saved it. Give uh, Casey Kane a little bump and run here. Still there. We got to move. We got 10 laps to go. And he's been holding us up. Still there. Oh, and he came back and got into us. Look at that. And he overdrove it going into the corner. He saved it. He, no, I don't think he's going to save it. He just got hit by a car and he spins. Eight laps to go. I don't know Trouble if the yellow, I don't know if the yellow is going to be out or not. A lot of games seem to have problems with uh, throwing yellows. A lot of racing games do. Uh, you know, in, in the NASCAR titles, we had issues with it. In iRacing, we even have problems with it. There's Casey Kane getting lapped. Oh, man. He must have uh, engine damage. Oh, no. He looks like he's back up to speed with us. A little bit of uh, a touch with Regan Smith there. Giving him some more room. Here comes Casey Kane on a vengeance with us, man. He is not happy with us. I'm bumping Smith a little bit here. I want to try to get by him and hit him again. Oh, Casey Kane's coming in to try to dump us. Look at this. I'm going to push him down the track. Racing hard. Easy, easy, Still drive there. it off the corner. There we go. Woohoo! There. They're just so much fun to race against. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Cleared him. Now we can work on Danica Patrick for 28th. Now we know what it's like to be a smaller tier team. Racing in the back. Because these guys are fast on 102. I'm not going to lie. Danica Patrick's all over the world, man. She is loose as a goose coming out of that corner. And it's funny because you know how she's always Five back in the go. pack racing uh, Eric Almarola, and she's like, oh, I hate racing him. Here they are next to each other. It's it's pretty funny how the uh, algorithm of the AI really does make uh, the real drivers hey, race near Still each other there. like they should. Clear high. Maybe a little bit of a tap here because she's holding us up. Oh, she's going to... We're going to... This door coming off the corner, not giving her much room. There we go. Still there. Clear there up. we go. That's how you do it. That's how you deal with Danica Patrick there. You just... You're going to tell Castle, hey, man, we're here. We need to go. Back into the brakes here. Nice and easy. Woo-hoo! <laughs> We are re wheeling this thing, man. I'm gonna try to pass him on the outside Still lane because the the gr the uh, the groove is on the top side of the track. Here you, go. you can see some guys were on the top, some guys were on the bottom. Still there. And I don't know if they purposely brought the uh, bottom groove in because NASCAR did, you know, in the real world. I wonder if they did that at last, you know, minute. They're like, you know, what, let's put some grip at the bottom so they can run uh, either the top or the bottom. Oh, got into De Benedetto. Sorry, man. I did not mean to do that. I like Mr. Matt De Benedetto. All right, AJ Allmendinger. We got the recce for 24th. Here we come to the line. That's going to be it. 25th. So that was a pretty, uh, a pretty hard fought 25th at, at AI set at 102. That's pretty crazy. New York Jets Nation. Yeah, dude, building setups is going to be awesome. Uh, you're actually going to be able to, uh, you know, see those kind of changes. Like, if you just make a tire pressure adjustment, you'll notice it right off the bat with this. Whew. We got a new speed rating of 100, and, of 100 there. Plus 35 laps gives you more speed points. So now we have 32,000 speed points. How about that? 
Is it impossible to bump people? Uh, Invisible Ghost, you saw what we were doing right there. We were bumping people, getting them loose, you know, racing them a little, uh, a little short track style, and it worked out for us. Four to one, the NASCAR Hall of Post race. Absolutely code forever. <laughs> That's so true. I wish I could go back. The problem is, if I go back, you can't go back to the, uh, the the replay. If you accidentally skip past the replay, you can't get back to it. It doesn't show it again. So I'm sorry. Next time I'll show it. My fault. I love this uh, music. Benny Hamlet challenges you. Hey, rookie. I think you're ready to real challenge a 1.16 Daytona 500 of Martin Truex Jr. over 0.1 seconds to close his finish in Daytona 500 history. Uh, and step inside Martin's. Play the camera. See if we can beat him. Let's do it. Let's go to Daytona and do it. How about that? We got time. Hey, Pat. What's up, man? Let's do that. All right, cool. Get Here we go. So this is just, I believe, yeah, one, one of two cars. So this is a, uh, a little fun challenge. Just me and him. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to I'm going to let him go so I can draft off him and then I'm going to slingshot him at the end in the last lap. Come on, buddy. Still there. Here we go. Just like this is what I want to do. I get behind Dick Hamlin here. Try to get that draft. Oh, they only give you one lap to do it. I see what they're doing in this challenge. He's going to the top. No. What? Why can't I catch him? I wonder if, if my AI setting I have is is affecting the challenges. Because, I mean, he's just way too fast. Oh, I could have beat him easily. We're doing that again. We'll get him next time. No, we're doing that again. We could have easily beat him. Hey, Dad. Glad you're here. Good to see you. Two more days of work for Pat. No, we're doing that again. Continue. Yeah, we're retrying. I'm just going to dust this dude. Get set. The race is going green. There's a green flag. Call high. Here we go. Good restart there. Just blowing Denny Hamlin away. And we're going to have to block him all the way. You know he's going to be fast, especially on the back stretch. We saw how fast he was. And there's that, uh, that 5,000 RPM in fourth gear, which is not very accurate. We would be up closer to 8,000 right now. Here comes Denny Hamlin with a vengeance. Going to have to block him. He's going to push. Still pushing on us here. We have to hit our marks and watch the mirror a little bit. He's all over our back bumper. He's gonna make a move. I'm gonna block him. I'm gonna block him. Oh yeah, we we got him. Great job. That was that was easy. <laughs> Rewriting history, for sure. For sure. All right. Wreck him, alcoholic semen thrower. What a name. Get him. Well, we did. All right, cool. Let's continue. We beat the challenge and we get a, a video. And the videos are like this. They just, they're little clip, quips around about Daytona things that happened. Wide open, but how to drive the, the tracks. You. Uh, those who manipulate the air the best are going to wind up winning the race. So look around your surroundings, get a draft off the car in front of you. And the most important thing is side drafting. Uh, that'll pull back the car that you're next to is what I did off the turn four in the Daytona 500 and got us the victory. Yeah, he didn't even try us on the high side there, Steve. I agree. I don't know. That was a pretty easy challenge. I, was, I think I was overcomplicating it in the beginning. All right. I know somebody wanted to see uh, Martinsville, so we're going to go to Martinsville next. And I am going to turn the AI down. They're, they're pretty tough. We hit Y for the race settings here. I'm going to turn them down to 100. 
Alright. Awesome. How does he do it? His hack. <laughs> Alright, cool. We need to qualify, that's for sure here. Uh we want to go into custom qualify. I'm just gonna do some tape setting here. We need to tape this thing up for qualify. And we might end up almost blowing the engine usually at 100. So let's go 95 tape on that. No, let's do 100. It's a short track. I'll save that. Yes. I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, qualify. Go, 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 go. All right. Welcome to Martinsville. One of the toughest uh, tracks, the paper clip. It's all about your braking zones, which is like right up next to the Toyota sign there. And then bring the car down low and get a good runoff right here. Next to the wall. Hard braking into your corner here. Nice and easy. Let it roll back into the gas and you commit. Overdrove that corner a little bit there. Braking zone. Kind of diamond it a little bit here and ease into that throttle here. Full throttle coming off the corner. 40th. <laughs> they're tough, man. At 100, they're tough at these short tracks. I think we're going to have fun regardless, so. Uh, let's make sure we're on default. Yeah. We'll use their setup. The He's going green. I'm just going to go in fourth gear right away because I want to survive this start of the race. There we go. I don't know where their braking zones are. They look like they're a little later than I was rolling it. So that makes sense why I was destroyed on qualifying. Harden the brakes here. Let the car roll in the center a little bit. Ooh, and that had a bobble, and I did too, coming off of there. Gonna fight for that inside lane. Oh, somebody is spinning in front of us. We have trouble in front of us. It looks like they gathered it back up. Looks like it's Eric Jones in the 20 out there next to the wall. Harden to the brakes here. Still there. Look at everybody getting squirrely on them brakes. You're all clear. Ooh, I really find the wheel here trying to get the inside of 95 being a ooh, somebody hey, else Still there? a little puff of smoke. See, if somebody gets loose like that and you get those huge puffs of smoke, you can't see anything and, and that's not very realistic. So I I do All hope high. that they adjust the smoke. Clear low. Clear high. And you know, and to be honest, the uh, the smoke, the in, the smoke that when you blow an engine is uh, is pretty good. And if they just kind of swap that, I think that'd be I think, it, I think it would look pretty good. Ooh, man, really driving the hell out of the car right there. Hard into the brakes here, following Eric Jones. You see, those guys are kind of diamond in the corner a little bit better than I am. I'm not driving it as well as they are, but I, I have good drive off. Some more smoke there. Hard into the brakes. Oh, Tyler Reddick off the nose. Getting a good run here. We're holding our own, though. Whereas, I mean, it was an abs Martinsville was an absolute mess in NASCAR 15. Let's be completely honest. It was like three wide garbage smashing racing. It was just terrible. And this is a lot more like realistic Martinsville style racing. I'm trying to use this outside lane on Ellis. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it or not. Trying to run that right up next to the wall here. It worked. Just try to protect that inside line, line dive it inside of Chase Elliott. Oh, I overdrove it a little bit. Got into him. He got Very loose. High. He was able to gather it up, though. That was pretty realistic, though. Because if you wheel hop going into turn one and you plow into something like that, you know how many times in the real races you've seen people just shoot up the track like that? Inside of Ellis here. Next, we'll be working on Regan Smith. I, I need to brake harder in there whenever I try to dive by on these guys. I'm not trying to ruin their day. Ooh, that was a nice job by Regan Smith there. Oh, we got a wreck in front of us. I can't see. There he was right there. There's trouble in turn three. We might have a yellow here in a second if they can't get that car turned back around. But yeah, at this track, the smoke is definitely showing its, uh, its problematic areas. It's a little much. And just so you know, there are other options as far as views. I'm so, I'm a sim racer, so I remember I'm so good at the, like I'm uh, accustomed to the inside view. We have the hood view here if we want. 
You turn on a uh, river mirror. Carlo. Into the gas. You can see a lot more of the track, a lot more of the graphics. But as you can see, there is absolutely no motion blur to hide that anti-aliasing. Uh, whereas, you know, the NASCAR titles had a lot of motion blur in it. So maybe they'll add motion blur eventually. Maybe that's what people like or they want to see. Me personally, I don't really care. I don't like it. Here's the outside view. If you want to see the outside view of the car, the old classic console view, I call it. Back into the gas here. And back to my favorite. I just like the inside view. I'm used to it. I got a better sense of my racing line. All that good stuff. I'm terrible in third person. Let me get back up here. And race for the middle of the pack here. Oh, Regan Smith, big bobble coming off of turn four. Behind Ryan Blaney as we go into the corner. I, I knew Smith was going to overdrive it in there. And he almost turned Blaney in the process. Hard into the brakes there. Let the car roll. And then ease back into the power. Ryan Blaney got tight off the corner. Still Try to there. take advantage of that and push him out of our lane. And he's going to give it to us here. Still there. And in those old NASCAR titles, they wouldn't have done that. They would have just came right down. They would have wrecked you. They would have Still hit there. the nose of your car. It would have been the end Still of your day. There. And look at that. Ryan Blaney, not only did he move up the track and give us room to race, but he also got back in line once he did. I'm racing Regan Smith pretty good for that position. He's faster than us, that's for sure. And this is some hard racing for 30th. Still there. Oh, yeah. Bump and run style. Ooh. <laughs> to go. He's going to probably get us right here. Oh, man. Still there. Carlo. Me and Regan Smith are going at it. Give him a little more of a bump. Oh, you hang on to it. Carlo. He's good. McDowell's going to capitalize on that. I'm going to try again. I'm trying to pass this guy on the outside lane, but it's so difficult. There's no grip out here. Carlo. Can't get the clear. car to turn that well. Oh, okay. High. Michael McDowell. Clear high. McDowell right into the side of us there, and it's going to cause a little bit of damage on our car. We're going to pay him back. We're never forgetty. Back into the gas. Oh, yeah. Tire fall off's big right now. He's having a hell of a time trying to get around Regan Smith like I was. But no, if I get to McDowell, I'm. Oh, we have Danica Patrick turned around. That's that's accurate. Let's be honest. That's accurate. Turn three. Okay, that's a halfway mark now. I'm going to arc a break the 95 here in a minute. You watch. Just for, I mean, he pinched me coming off of turn two up against the wall pretty good. So I owe him a shot like that right there. Look at that. He got loose. Go to the inside of him. Still there. So, yeah, you can you can race these guys pretty rough, and, and I really do like that. It's fun. Stock car racing is all about being up next Stay close low. to each other and just really racing that person off the corner and uh nascar evolution does a great job of capturing that with their All ai clear. inside of regan smith it's finally going to happen we actually got the inside lane from him let's hang on to it if we can try not to pinch him into the wall All like clear. mcdowell did to us there we go we clear him into turn three next up is going to be chris busher we set our sights on him now if i hit the a button we can actually turn on these different menus our lap info and here's the leaderboard you can see uh, almost like a relative uh how many seconds two people in front of you compared to the two people behind you are harden to the brakes here full gas that was your best lap ever well thank you there bobby labani Encouragement is never uh, a bad thing. Chris Busher. I don't want to have to get the back end of you if I don't have to. I would rather race it clean. All right. He knew I was faster than him. He's like, all right, I'm just going to let him go. All, high. all clear. Ooh, oh, man. All the car got really tight under braking there. The tire fall off is real right now. I also overdrove that corner. Let's be perfectly honest there. Can't blame it all on the tire. 
Kyle Larson have a little bit of a problem there, and it's going to stack up everybody. We get a good run on Chris Busher going into turn one. Now, I want to make sure that I go easy into the brakes there. There we go like that. And here comes Jamie McMurray out of nowhere off our back bumper. Whoa, Busher got really loose on entry into that corner. Jamie McMurray all over the back end of us. We're going to go around Busher. Hard braking. There we go. Maintain our inside lane. Back into the gas. McMurray really trying to move up. All clear. They race totally different towards the end of the race. Oh, McMurray to the back end of us. Look at he's giving us the bump and run. All clear. We will remember that. Problems coming out of turn four. To the bottom of the track. Here he comes again. Man, he's on a mission and he might have stopped for tires or something. All clear. But I'm not going to give it him an inch. But you can see right now the pressure's on. The AI knows, hey, we're almost to the end of this race. We're, we, we need to try to get as many spots as we can. So I don't blame him trying to do a old bump and run on us. It's, you know, he, he wants to win the race too. Well, not win. we're not going to win the race at this point. Let's be totally honest there. We know that's not going to happen. Here comes Call McMurray. He's going to try to make it work on the outside. Will he do it? They're all clear. Next to him on the door and not going to happen. I'm going to try to get on the inside of Larson here. Hard brakes. Try not to wheel high. hot going into turn one. There we go. We're good. Back into the gas off. Right up next to McMurray's door. Hard Still racing there. back here for 28th. Uh, <laughs> Still there. We have a good drive off, though. Like, we're, we're doing much better than them on uh, turn four. Still there. They kill us off at two, but they're good on four. Or we're good on four. Next to Bobby Labonte. There we go. Trying to get to Larson. Not going to happen there. just yet. Still waiting. Turning back into the gas. You're all clear. Got a little loose there. Five laps to go. Trying to dive bomb him. Trying to get that spot taken away. There we go. He gave us the lane, and he got loose doing it. Up against the wall. Into turn three. Running out of time and four laps to go. Going to have to give him a little bit of bump and run here. Still there. Gonna have to do it. There we go, just like that. Had to bump him out of the way because we were a little bit faster than him and he was holding us up to get to these guys. And McMurray all over our back bumper again, getting to the back end of us once again. Hard into the brakes. Look at the drive off and Murray's getting right there off of four. That wasn't too bad, but we still destroy him on that. Oh, Brian Scott hit the uh, curb there. And it's so cool to see the AI make little mistakes like that. You know, they're not perfect. Previous titles, they're just so perfect. You know, driving on a rail, they never made a mistake. And if they did, it was really blatant and stupid. This is a lot more believable racing at Martinsville. Oh, Brian Scott. Oh, he overdrove it into turn one. McMurray's trying to get around us. He's going to door us to do it. Get into the side of him. We'll be coming to the white fly here in a few moments. Look at how hard the racing is in the back of the field today. Whoa, wall. I overdrove that. 27th at 100 on the AI. We get a good speed rating, though. We got look at that, 102. New record. Whew. Nice. Oh, that'd be awesome, Ryan, if he says, problems, problems, huge problems, championship implication. That'd be awesome. Yeah, uh, Jay Burnham, anybody who, who you, can't con you can't compare this to a, simula to a simulator. They're not trying to be a sim. They give us a sim mode. You know, they're like, hey, if you like sim racing, you will actually enjoy the driving of this. And I actually do enjoy it with a wheel. And uh, it's a console game. You know, that, that's that's the, the art audience that's there. They want to bring people in to NASCAR and go, hey, if you don't know what NASCAR is, here's a great way to learn about it and to enjoy it. Uh, you know, I think it's a great, a great, great game for uh, for what it is and, and being their very first release in a long time. So, but uh, RP684, I might be missing out. They never claimed it to be a sim. A f like, it, 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 if that was the case, it would have been like NASCAR Simulator 2016 or something. So I'll disagree with you there. It, it's a console game, and 
a simulator would never even give you the options of having all these assists on and all that stuff. It, it would never do that. So I'll disagree there, but you know, to each their own. Kurt, I'm going to have a word with Jamie after the race. No, you know, to be honest, he was uh, racing. You know, let's watch some of the uh, the replay. I want to show you the replays. But look at that. With all those laps we got on that one or two, look at all the speed points we accrued. That was good. Okay, here we go. Here's the replay. I have depth of field uh, effects turned on right now. I, I usually have them turned off, but that's why this has this kind of soft glow feel to it. So that's what that's all about. And yeah, you're, no, nobody's going to get banned for having a different opinion. It's about having an opinion. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Polar Mouse. I had a lot of fun in that race. That was awesome. Really good. Firewire, I uh, do iRacing on Wednesday nights. Uh, and then I stream on the weekends if I can. So there you go. Tree caller. I, I don't know, man. Max and the AI is going to be, you've got to have a setup and we're not, I want to go through a lot of tracks and show you the game more than, uh, setting, doing car setup stuff. So with the right setup, I think you can race the AI on a, on a lot higher AI difficulty, but at a hundred, that was really challenging, really challenging. And no burnouts after the race, yeah. You know, NASCAR's trying to stop them from doing that anyway. Oh, yeah, the haze effect squared. Yeah, that's what we're seeing there. But no, you'll you'll see it uh, like right there. You'll see the depth of field. It, it's, it's a little blurry on the edges. I don't know. It's not 100% there yet. That's for, that's for damn sure. McMurray was the leader. Oh, I didn't even realize that. So he was he was trying to lap us. No wonder he was driving so aggressive. Damn. That's pretty funny. Firewire, you can get this game on Steam. You can get it like at Best Buy or, or wherever your uh, game stores are. And all that good stuff. That's why we were racing uh, Eric Jones there. We had a really good run on Tyler Reddick. And it's all about that braking zone going into turn three. And you can see right there. But... I mean, just looking at the replay here, look at how that AI races this track and how we race the track. I mean, look how spread out they are. And if you've ever watched a race at Martinsville, that is what you see. And it's so cool to see AI actually be able to drive a track like that. Zoe's pop, are there yellow flags? Yes, there are yellow flags. If you have the race length above 7%, you can turn the flags on. Uh, you can go full flags, black flags, and uh, yellow flags. I'm pretty sure if you try to turn around on the track and go crashing people, you probably get black flag for that. Wow, that's where that happened. Remember, I got inside of him and he shot up the track. That was Chase Elliott. And then we were working on Ellis. It took us a long time to get around Ellis. And then once we were around Ellis, we could not get around Regan Smith for our life. Uh, Kapitar fan 97. Is there cautions where the cars actually stop? Uh, you mean like a red flag? I have not seen red flags in this game. Uh, I And I understand why they probably didn't add them. iRacing doesn't even have uh, red flags. But uh, the main thing there is they want to keep you in the action. Uh, you know, that's the thing. Is like It's not a simulator where you have full control over the car and the pits and you do this and do this. It gets you into the action. So the only time that you actually will see a pit animation is if you come down pit road under green flag conditions. Uh, whenever it's a caution thrown, it just pops up a window. You make adjustments and then they, they simulate it and you go on to uh, your restart to get you back in the race. So you're not, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. Oh, look, Chase Elliott at the back. Not a big surprise. <laughs> well, I remember him at, uh, at Martinsville. Yeah, he was having some troubles there. HG, HJD 427. What's up, man? You know what? I didn't turn on. The Twitch chat. I failed. I failed you. Sorry. Kentucky with the new banking. Can you race at New Hampshire? This first Daytona online race with the wheel and my leg hurts a lot. <laughs> Legendary. That's awesome, man. Uh, there are animated pit crews if you pit under a green flag condition or if you're in practice or whatever. Yes. So well, that's what's going on with that. Savior, I am racing with a G27, Logitech G27 wheel with a force feed back on, eight shift pattern shifter with a clutch and all that good stuff. All right, so let's continue on here. Oh, you can see right there, they're starting to get a little crazy. Different camera views you can have um, in the game is changing the camera views here. You have the inside, you have a, a back 
far chase. Uh, you have the hood camera. You have a uh, helicopter blimp cam, whatever you want to call it. You can see how we were racing those guys into there. And then a TV camera. So not a lot of cameras. I'd like to see a little bit more variations of cameras. It would be nice, but beggars can't be choosers. All right, let's continue on here. Yeah, Jamie McMurray had the fastest lap because he was the leader. You guys are right. I feel like a, a dick now is holding him up. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Camacho uh, 1994. Appreciate that, man. Do, 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 do. Uh, Toaster Gaming, you can only answer that question yourself, man. If you want this game, I mean, I'm showing you honestly what it is right here in front of your face. I, I, I don't make those uh, decisions for people. Finish the event and confirm. People want to see New Hampshire. So we're going to go to New Hampshire next. I think it's, I think I will turn the AI down, AI down a little bit. It's like 98 for short tracks. That 100 was a little bit much. Unless you guys really enjoyed uh, me struggling racing the AI. I'll leave it up to you. What do you want to see? What lo what level of AI would you would you want to see on the New Hampshire race? Because I know a lot of people want to win races and, and, and that's what they want to do in these games. Me, I have more fun racing. So with with a good challenge. I mean, with a good setup, yeah, we could have we could have beat them. But I'm thinking like 98 is what it's going to be. Yeah, Polar Mouse, I'm interested to see if uh, we can run that middle line here. 99, 90. All right. 80, 100. Well, we, we were running at 100 the whole time. Let's go with 98. Let's compromise between 100 and, uh, and 90. How about that? Yeah, highest AI goes to 105, as you can see right here. 105. That's the max. But I'm thinking 98. 98 degrees, right? We'll accept that. Save the changes. Yes. Extreme Motorsports 99, you can't compare the two. It's apples and oranges. I, I would never compare iRacing to NASCAR Heat. iRacing is not a console game. It doesn't have that demographic that they were looking to uh, appease to. Uh, you got to look at the, you know, if you want a Gen 6 car and you want all the tracks and you want to race in the iRacing NASCAR series, that's over $400 you're going to pay for the tracks licensing, for the car licensing. Not to mention, on top of the $400, you're going to be paying for a wheel or something along those lines. So those are huge differences between a $60 game that everybody can enjoy. The AI is awesome. I have a blast as a, as a sim racer racing the AI compared to, you know, somebody who wants to spend upwards of $600 just to run in a NASCAR series in the iRacing thing. So that's the best way to explain it. Qualify session. Should we even qualify in New Hampshire? Yeah, of course we should. Let's go to custom qualify. Let's tape this sucker up. Probably gonna blow the engine you watch save it save it and go go go, go 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 here we go let's see if i can race this track like i can in i racing little speed here middle lane here is where we want to be right about in here is ideal and then just really hammer it off the corner. There's a restart zone right there with the two uh, red lines. Hard braking here. Let the car kind of drift up the track and then diamond it off a little bit right here. In that yellow line. And keep in mind, these tracks are not laser scanned. These are artist uh, renditions of the track based off of photography. And it's pretty impressive to see the scale and what they've done with the track with it not being laser scanned. Look at that. P12. How about that? Not bad. Yeah, USN Bubblehead. PC Master Race. It does empty the pockets for sim racing. It really does. Here's what the menu systems look like for the qualifying results. Looks like, uh, yeah, we got P12, but uh, it automatically cycles between all of them, kind of like on TV. Oh, yeah, HJD, those tracks in person are pretty awesome to see. Pretty awesome. Some are laser scanned. I don't think any of these were laser scanned uh, as far as I am aware. 
you can tell laser scanning would give you the bumps and all the little divots in the track and all that kind of stuff yeah i need to be a first all the time bat <laughs> all right let's uh, make sure we're not on custom qualify so you don't blow the car up uh let's we'll go with the default setting and let's go racing at new hampshire oh man missed the shift there that's all right kyle bush to the inside as we head into turn one, it's all about rolling out of the throttle, a little bit of break. Oh, I didn't do it enough. Don't want to come back into traffic here. We're going to race him off the corner, nice and clean, up against the wall. And about as crazy as a restart or a start of the race is at New Hampshire. Oh, man. When I got into the brakes, the car just jot left on me there. It got really loose under braking. It's a brake bias. But even in 98, they're quite tough. They're they're not not easy to race. Making this outside lane work a little bit for us here. Come on. There we go. Up against the wall. And stay on. Stay on. Harder in the brakes there that time. The thing is, is if you if you get into the brakes really light, the car is kind of loose on entry. But if you really lay into the brakes, it really sets that nose down. Uh, yeah, I braked a little early there. Let's see if for the bottom. Oh, the bottom lane's got a lot of grip. Wow. A lot of grip. We can drive up right behind Brad Kozlowski here. Still there. Let's try this inside lane. It looks like they got a lot of grip down here. Stay Look low. at that. We made Still huge there. gains there. Huge gains. Hard into the gas. Right on the door of Brad. Brad gets us coming off of four. Back into turn one. And they, they break in there a lot lighter. What I really love about this AI is they don't brake check you like the previous titles. They don't constantly Still slam there. those brakes in front of you. And that's so frustrating when you're trying to have a good racing experience is when the AI is like slamming the brakes on you. you. See, I got in the back end of Johnson there and I almost pushed him into Clint Boyer. Here comes Joey Logano. I'm going to try to get the, fight my way to the bottom here because you got to protect that inside lane. And Joey found a way around us on the outside. Here comes Matt Kenseth. Hard in the brakes here. Oh, Matt on the inside of us. Going to capitalize on our mistake of our braking zone there. But I'm going to try to drive it on the outside lane here. Behind Jimmy McMurray. Oh, the wheel in that. There we go. We'll try to pass him on the middle lane here. Oh, man. That was a mistake on my end. Braking zone mishap. Okay, McMurray. That's for uh, Martinsville, buddy. That is for Martinsville. And you see the AI doesn't back down, but it's spread out. I mean, we're in 15th right now, and you can see how uh, there's we're get, we have a pack here in front of us. In the very front, you know, those guys out in clean air are lined out. Still there. But the guys behind us, they're in a line. They're not in a pack. So it's a lot more realistic racing lines by the AI, that's for sure. Getting into uh, Matt Kenseth here, racing there. him pretty hard. Oh, I know there's a car high there. Overdriving it so much coming off the corner. For P12. Going to protect this inside lane all from high. Scott. Oh, I mean, Al Marola. I don't know how I saved it, but I did. All right, Al Marola. That's how we want to race today. Let's race that way. All clear. Clear high. Well, arc breaking going into freaking three here. Uh, he, he, he knew better. He knew I was after Still his there. ass. He knew it was it was coming. Clear high. You see that little embankment there that jots out of the bottom lane there, because the bottom lane's so flat. That was a great lap. Well, thank you. Oh, oh Almarola oh. just dive bombing it in there. Look at Clint Boyer. That's the second time I've seen him that loose today. Not able to make it happen. Wow, so much wheel into it. We're so oh, tight oh. on exit. I'm not happy with Almirola at all. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if I made that clear enough. Oh, the 43 got loose there on that middle lane. All over the back bumper of Almirola as we head into turn three. 
Try to bump him out of the way oh, a little bit here. Just like that. <laughs> NASCAR is all con all about that contact. Although the Gen 6 cars these days don't like it too much. They uh, they get fender rubs and all that and ends up cutting a tire after a while. Unfortunately, they're not as, uh, you know, as tough as they used to be. But they're real modern marvels, that's for sure. Clear low. Clear low. That was a good braking zone for us there. Great entry into the corner, except for overdriving it coming out. The car is so freaking tight right now. Car low. Look at that. I feel like I'm in an iron racing race, complaining about a tight car. Clint Boyer just cannot get his car on the bottom of the track today. It just won't happen. To the bottom of the track. Clint Boyer trying. Jetty Hamlin. Oh, Jimmy's there. Oh, look at that thread the needle. Break, break, break. Back into the gas. Oh, man. Racing Jimmy pretty good there for that spot. Clint Boyer still trying there. And he get to the bottom. Halfway mark now. Halfway mark. Tire fall off is huge right now. Huge. Right, you got to be so patient with this track. Just like that. Stay high. Still there. Try to outbreak Jimmy Johnson going in there, getting to each other a little bit there. there. It's all about patience coming off the corner, back into the gas, drive it off. Right on the door, Jimmy Johnson at the line. Will we clear him? Yes, we will. We're going to protect this inside lane. He's going to probably try to turn us for it. Yep. To be honest, we did come down on him. It was our fault. So he had a right to be pissed off at us about it. <laughs> All clear. going to be so patient getting back to the gas here. It's, it's just like the real track. But we're so tight, we're just plowing at this point. We used our tires up pretty good here. Never forget it, Mr. Almirola. I won't forget that from earlier. Racing me earlier. Still there. Still there. I'm racing the living hell out of Almirola right now. I really am. But it's fun, man. These AR are so much fun to race. Oh, man. We're plowing so much. I'm like sawing the wheel. Still there? That's what you do. You use him as a block. Right up next to his Stay door. Low. Look at that. There. That was a great lap. That was a good lap. I'm getting more of the hang of the uh, track. Still there. Where I'm supposed to really give it gas and where I'm not. Still on the door of Almirola. Man, we are racing hard. Not giving him an inch, though, that's for sure. Inside of Casey Kane. Car high. Now we can set our sights on uh, P8. Well, we haven't cleared him yet. Got into the side of him. Clear high. Casey's not going to be happy with us on that. He's probably repaying his back for uh, right, Bristol. Oh, All dive right. bomb much there, Casey Kane. Five laps to go. They're going to do it. Look at this. We're pushing almost three wide coming off of turn two. All clear. Yeah, I mean, you throw some uh, high-quality sounds in this game, and, you know, you do a little more polishing with the uh, anti-aliasing, which I haven't messed with the NVIDIA Inspector to do that stuff yet. And you'll have yourself a pretty solid game here for a while. All right. Oh. All clear. Really protect that inside lane from Casey Kane there. So we're fighting for eighth in, uh, with an AI setting of 98. With this track I'm trying to see where uh, Dale jr. Has been running this track. Okay. He's been running in the middle lane So the bottom may not be where the grip is and 
I'm noticing that because when I get down there, I can't really get back to the gas as much as they can. I kind of shoot up the track like I'm in some dirt or something down there. So I'm going to try the middle. There comes Casey Kane with another freaking dive bomb. Son of a bitch. Race him hard. Trouble in three. Watch out for Casey Kane. He'll arc break us. Oh, Ellis got turned in three, it looks like. And he's just sitting down there. No yellow flies right now. Here comes Matt Kenseth on the inside. He'll be on his door. Going to outbreak him into the corner. Ooh. Or at the same time, here comes Casey Kane all over our back bumper. Back in the gas. Protected bottom lane here. Got to get back to the gas a little earlier than that. Let's block him here. Make sure Almirola doesn't get a run on us. Go to the inside of Matt Kenseth. It's not going to work. Oh, Almirola with a huge run. Damn, he was good on that. He definitely got us there. We're going to try. Last lap, white lap. Remember what he did to us earlier in the race. Oh, Casey King. So remember what Almirola did to us in the beginning of the race. And it's white flag conditions. Still there. Race you like you raced me, buddy. Race you like you raced me to the wall. Here he comes. He's going to try to get back to us. He's going to block him. Woo! Top 10. All right. Woo. That was crazy. Yeah, the anxiety was higher than FHJD. Man, G27 feels really good, Monty. It's uh, it's a, it's pretty linear. Not gonna lie, uh, but if you dial it in, I like it. I turn the the center spring up all the way, and then turn the force feedback up all the way in the game, and uh, I can really feel the middle really well. And you can hear, you can feel the car like start to get squirrely on the wheel, which is nice. So there you have it. Whew. Yeah, people want i racing. Get i racing. You know, spend spend five hundred dollars on what you see here on a simulation level. I'm not even comparing the two games. You cannot do it. I don't know why people are doing that. That's pretty, uh, pretty uneducated, uh, things to say. If you're comparing the two, they're not the same. Here's a little bit of this race. We'll watch the opening laps, especially when Alan Rolla turned us like a jackass. We'll explore the online here in a few moments. Private Gunny, yes, I am having a lot of fun right now playing this game. The AI on a road course, USN. All right, yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do, um, Watkins Glen. How about that? Yeah, we'll do a uh, road course next. How about that? Uh, Roy D. Hingley, 3241. Yes, I will be doing a career mode on my channel. Pretty cool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Are trashing this because it isn't iRacing. For God's sake, it never was advertised as such. Exactly, Private Gunny. I don't know where people are getting this notion, but, you know, I see that a lot in games today. Everybody was like, oh, this isn't like this game. It's not that game. And, and iRacing is a massive simulation that is really expensive. That is for hardcore people. That's not what this is targeted towards. And it shouldn't be. Yeah, I hear you, Citizen 059. Uh, I used to play the Pappy Sims. Uh, I got started on NASCAR racing. From Papyrus, this is NASCAR racing. Uh, See, so yeah, I used to do that stuff. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't ever, com I don't make real, real unrealistic comparisons and ex expectations from a small gaming company making a NASCAR game. That's not EA or some, somebody has a bunch of money to throw towards it, but just refuses to do anything cool with it. That's what happened. All right, cool stuff. 98, new record. That was my first time at that track though. So there you go. All right, tree crawler. We'll see you later, man. Millionaires, Jeff. Don't forget about the millionaires and iRacing. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, killer. It's it's their first. This is this is DMR's first game and or uh monsters first game in freaking what 14 15 years well it's good to see some of you guys got a lot of you guys have some uh good heads on your shoulders you understand a lot of people just have they don't understand how the industry works they don't understand how making a game is it's shitty you know after spending time with dmr and getting to know those guys and, and the master guys like they care so much about this game and what people think of it and what they want to do with it. You don't see that with a lot of gaming companies out there that it's usually smaller ones like they are that actually do care, but they, they really, really care about this game. All right, multiplayer. Well, I do want to show you that we'll do a road course and then we'll do multiplayer. How about that? Now, we're pretty good at road courses, so I'm hoping, hoping we'll do well here. Unqualify. Go, 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 go. Not worried about tape here at a road course. Let's do it. Same shifting point as uh, I do whenever I race this track in our racing, which is nice to see. Third gear into the bus stop. And on into the carousel we go. It's all about patience here to get a good run out of the carousel. Ooh, overdrove it. We're going to use all the track there. Fourth gear. Second gear here. Should have been third gear, actually, probably. All the way to the bottom here. You want to get every bit you can here. And here we go for the first lap. We're qualifying at the Glen. There's my 100 sign right there. Downshift. Downshift into second. Take the turn. Hard into the gas. Third gear. Take third gear up the S's here. So out of the gas a little bit here. Feel the car. Come back to life. Back into fourth gear. Coming out of the top of the S's. Onto the long straightaway. And then we start setting up for the bus stop here. Like right here. Down into third gear. I don't think you really need to go down to second gear there. It's a little much. Oh, overdrove it. I knew I would. Take a wide let out of the gas. Let the car come back to you. Try to diamond it a little bit. Some guys like to be right up next to it. Be patient. Then harden into the gas. Use all of the track you can here. Back into fourth gear. All the way to the right here. We're just going to third gear here. No need for second gear. It was too much. And then we take this right up here. Yep, this is a lot more realistic. Hard brakes. Down here in the bottom of the track. The bottom of the track. You only get one uh, lap here at uh, at a road course. There we go. Because they wanted to be a quick qualify time. So P14, how about that? Was well, not bad. Was well, not bad. Is there a cockpit view online? I heard there isn't. Yes, there is. Because I, whenever I raced online, I used it. It depends on what uh, the lobby has it set as. Maybe they have it where you can't have that on. Whew. All right. We're ready to start this race. Yeah, we'll do a replay after the race there, Con Game, if you want to check it out. No big, no biggie. Roll Tide, uh, I can't answer that for you. If, you. if you think the game's worth 60 bucks, then, you know, it's worth it to you. People that bitch about it go, this, uh, this isn't worth this X amount, then don't buy it. Like, don't do it. People would rather bitch about something and then not get it. It's like, you know, it's no skin off our nose if you're not, if, if you don't want to play the game because you're just going to complain about it's not iRacing or something like that, you know? But I, I, I don't mean that towards you. I'm just saying, in general, you can only make that assumption if you think it's worth that. But rem remember that you know, all the you know all the all the money that you're throwing at this company, this is a company that's going to have this contract till well, I believe it's 2020. You know they're gonna uh, they're gonna improve the game and they're gonna be able to do a lot more with it. So pretty cool stuff. Kyle Larson fan there, Bobby, very cool. Harvick fan for Roll Tide. 
Best annual style NASCAR game in 10 years. I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. And I think, you know, it really, when they change the sounds, if they get some high quality sounds in here, that's going to change this, the feel of this game. It really will. Yeah, Matt, man. Awesome. I'm glad you like it, man. I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. This is not iRacing. I never said it was. On Twitch, it says it's the NASCAR Heat Evolution. Uh, have qualifying that gets cars on the track at the same time. Flying Ferrari. Yes, they do. If you if you choose, I'm doing quick qualify, but if you choose qualify, it's a round session. So it's elimination style, just like real life. Yeah, I agree, Ricky24001. Uh, the Steam reviews, you know, people go, oh, I, I couldn't get this to install. It was, you know, who knows what viruses or whatever the hell they have on their own PC. They instantly blame the, blame the game and it doesn't work. And, you know, it's just how it works. No biggie. All right, very cool. Let's get out here and race. Let's try to be smart on the first lap. The going, going green. green. The green Had a good start there. Here come the brakes. Be ready for it. And go downshift into second gear here. Follow Greg Biffle through turn one. Try to survive. Back into the gas. All clear. Third gear inside of Denny Hamlin going up the S's. Ooh, he really slowed down there, didn't he? Biffle did. That's all right. We're going to capitalize on it. Hold on to it. Got a really, aggress really aggressive there on that start. Now we're behind Johnson. I want to see where they break. Because you want to break whenever they do. There we go. Just like that. That's how you do it. That's how you get in the bus stop. Right like that. Back into the gas. And then outside, just like they did inside of Jimmy Johnson. Nice. Clear left. Man, he really had, he was a lot slower there in that part of the track. Huge run on Jamie McMurray. Coming off of the carousel into this corner. Here's the braking zone down into third gear. Let it drive up to the berm. Take the curb all the way up here into the brakes and down low. And you can see they drive the real line of the track. Uh, my braking zone's like right here, third, second. Let it go right. into the corner. All right, he's right down there. And you'll notice Bobby Labonte doesn't say car low or car high here on the track. He actually says car right or car left, which is accurate at a road course. Man, I got in the grass there. That's what happens. Okay, okay. We're going to restart that. Oh my God, huge crash. We're on a roof. We're on our roof. Well, we got a pit. We got to fix that damage and everything else. Whew. Wedge is at 50%. That's what we want it to be. Uh, let's go ahead and just go ahead and get past all that. <laughs> Holy crap. Green light checker. Attempt one of three. Get set. The race is going green. Here we go. Get everything we can out of it. We threw our race away. We might as well try to bet, make the best of it. Here we go. All clear. Hard into the brakes here. Downshift. Downshift. Did you get really aggressive on this green light checker? You're all clear. You're all clear. We can run these guys over to get up here. Hang on to it. Woo! <laughs> Man, I don't know how I saved it. All right. Yellow's out. Oh. And the caution comes out. Do not pit. So that was the, the first attempt at the green white checker. We get three attempts. Attempt two of three. Here we go. P24. Green flag's going. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. All clear. Car left. All clear. Up into the S as we go. Watch out. These guys are slow. Way down on the entry of the corner. Like Atlanta Castle there did. All on the clear. outside of Labani. Oh, side by side with Labani. Around the side. Kyle Busch in the fourth gear. Let's make it happen. Still there. Fighting for P12. There's P12. We got to outbreak Elliot into the bus stop right here. 
side by side with him. He takes the inside. We're gonna stay on the outside. There we go, just like that, into the carousel. The bottom of Hamlin. Oh, we got into Hamlin there a little bit. My fault, but hey, it's a green white checker. We're driving the living crap out of this car right now. Use all of the track we can with Jimmy Johnson right there. Into the side of Jimmy Johnson. Hang on to it. Into the final braking zone of the corner. They're not final. It's a green white checker. Coming to the white flag this time. Hard into the gas. Running back up here to Kane. Driving the living crap out of this car right now. White That's flag. Fine. Comes the braking zone. Third. Ooh, second overdrove it big time. Hard into the gas. Whoa, right. drive it off. It's going to be between me and Kane right now into the S's. I'm going to go on the outside of him here. He got Stay loose. Right. Coming off the top of the corner there. You're all clear. All clear there. Woo -wee. That is a ride into the bus stop there. Trying to make up some ground on McMurray here in the carousel. Everybody's a little slow here. And there we go. I'm using all of the track I can inside of McMurray. Still there. Coming to the final corners Still here. Up. I don't want to do an AJ Elmendinger on uh, Larson too soon. Too soon for that. Into the brakes. Woohoo! Back into the gas. Come on. Ooh. That's going to be it right there. Hey, but you know, we rebounded from what, P25 to P6 there on that green white checker. Not bad. 97 on the new record. Beautiful. All right, let's go do some online racing. We're probably going to get ran over and wrecked and everything else. We'll see. I'll show you the replay. I wanted to see the replay, so I'll show you that right now. I've talked to you guys. No overtime line. Yeah, NASCAR just started with that uh, this year. So. It's weird. Yeah, Bubblehead. In NASCAR Evolution, you can kind of run people over and drive really aggressive. In iRacing, you, it's a different story. You wouldn't do something like that, you know? In online, I, w I don't race people online like that either, so we'll see what we do. Uh, Bobby960, I'm sure this game will have patches. They're, you know, they're going to be improving this game over the long run, it, 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 you know, just started it. Yeah, Boba Head, we definitely drove the hell out of the car on that one. Am I running with a wheel D-Row? Yes, I'm using the Logitech G27. That's why I'm so smooth in my turns. Whenever I was on live streams in Charlotte and stuff, I was using a controller and I'm terrible with a controller. Yeah, I was intense at the end, and I made that really crazy move on McMurray, and it really worked out for us there. That's crazy. All righty, Zach. Yeah, I'll hit you up here in just a moment. We'll get Zach here inside the call, and uh, he'll be doing some online racing with us in NASCAR Heat Evolution because he did pick it up. NASCAR 2478, what's up, man? But, yeah, I just... I don't know. People that just, you know, are like, oh, this looks like a mobile game graphics. Like, I just don't see that. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I don't. I, to me, I think it looks good. You know, if we have really good sounds that are like a good whooshing sound. Oh, that's what we, yep. That's what we got in the grass. And when you're racing in simulation mode, look at, oh, that's what happened. And here, watch here. We get clobbered to get thrown on our roof right there. Jimmy Johnson got into us and that's what caused that. Oh, look at this. Huge damage on the back of the 14 of Tony Stewart there and getting ran over again. And we were just sitting on our roof there. I mean, the game automatically flips you over. It tries. <laughs> it's like, all right, we need to get you back on your uh, on your wheels here. You see uh, Tony Stewart there cleaning them off before they start going again. And this is where we started driving crazy through the entire field. Mr. Penguin, it all comes down if you want the game today. Or if you want the game in a, you know, in a, in a half a year or a year, if they have a sale on Steam or, or whatnot. Uh, but if, if you're a NASCAR fan and you like the NASCAR 14, 15 franchise, the console style, you know, it, it's to me. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man, look at that. That's where Paul and 
guard gets turned around by me. And look at the attention to detail there. You saw the roof flaps come up there whenever you went spinning around. Because we were driving right through them, man. I was driving like a jackass. That's very, very, very true. When a truck series patch comes out. Yeah, for me, I don't know. Everybody's always like, uh, I'd rather have Xfinity, the truck series of this. You know, that, that can all be added later on. But honestly... I'm a Sprint Cup fan. I'm a huge NASCAR fan. This this does it for me. I totally agree, Private Gunny. The sounds are the only thing that really need work. Or I mean, you know, there's there's things that need work, like the smoke. I like to see the smoke turn down or, or something different. Uh, but yeah, the sound definitely needs uh, some work. Because I really think that if you just had the sounds of a different game and you put it on there with uh, with that, it would change the whole feel of the game. Because sound really does do that. The one dumped us and the 40 flipped us and done with Jamie shit. Yeah, I know, right? That's amazing, dude. Now, from what I have seen, don't quote me on this because I don't know. I, I don't have it on PS4, but... It looked like PS4 had like 60 frames per second. I thought they were only gonna have 30, but I know that X-Bone was holding them back on uh, frames on the consoles. That's where I got together with Jimmy Johnson. Look at that, we were all over the place next to each other. Driving the living shit out of the car right there. Here we come into the final turn. Or no, 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 this wasn't the final. This is the uh, green white checker, right? I'm sorry, I'm reading the chat. Wasn't paying attention. I do wanna see that move I made on McMurray though. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Should have called in sick today, Mr. Xbox himself. Headless Booth, you know, I think that, uh, you know, you have the guys that made Dirt Today Daytona. That's where I overdrove the corner, like, really, really overdrove it. Uh, you know, the guys that made that uh, are the ones working on this game. So you could see a lot of things from Dirt to Daytona be implemented into this franchise eventually. They really want to work on that stuff, but it's baby steps. You know, you, you got to start, you're, you're a small company. You need an investor like Brad Keselowski, you know, investing into the company, into the game to make it see the light of day, uh, you know, and as they climb the ladder and the sales are there and they can get equipment to do, you know, higher recordings and laser scan tracks and stuff like that, you know, that'll happen eventually. Bubblehead, you know, I said, don't quote me on that, but from what I saw on YouTube of people uh, doing live streams and stuff of the PS4 version, it looked like it was running at 60 frames. It didn't look like 30 to me. Serious Gamer TV, that's exactly what uh, what this game is. It's for a casual player who loves NASCAR and just wants to race. But they knew that there were people like me that are, you know, eye racing people that like sim racing, but can forgive those kind of things and to be given a simulation mode is awesome because they didn't have to do that. Did NASCAR 14 or 15 really give you much of a simulation mode? No. And and if you did have it on uh, the 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 physics to a sim level, nah, it, it wasn't uh, wasn't it didn't feel like that at least. This is an actual challenge to me. Guess we're gonna leave the track because we're gonna get Zach in here. I'm gonna take a quick uh, a quick little uh, hiatus here and about five minute break go to the bathroom and whatnot, and then uh, we'll be back and we'll do some multiplayer racing. So just sit tight. We'll be right back with some more NASCAR Heat Evolution.